Hey folks, JD here, and today this is week three of our quadcopter build. And as so far it's the 19th of December and has been all day, uh, what we're going to do is open up all of these remaining windows and then finish putting together our quadcopter. Okay, last time we finished on door 13, so this time we're going to carry on and we'll undo them all and then we'll carry on with our build. So let's. Right, so there's the underside of our quadcopter. So, are you building this at the same time as me, guys? If you are, how are things going? Are you? Did, could you wait to do all the boxes? Um, or did you do them all at the same time? Right, so that's door number 13. Perfect, and now let's do 14. Oh, here we go. So we've got some oh, propeller guards. So that's door 13. Oh, sorry, 14. So now let's do 15. Where is 15? Here you are. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Door 15. And don't forget there are little screws in here as well, so you want to make sure that everything is properly secured. So here's door number 16, another propeller guard with two screws inside, no one screw inside. So then we'll go for 17 next. Oh, this is taking quite a while. Right, 17 done. Now let's get on to 18. Up here. Oh, and the screws are loose in here. There's one there just sitting there. Ah, uh, these are the landing sprigs. Okay, perfect. So I'll put the loose screw to one side. Because I don't want to lose that in case it is. It should have been in a bag and it wasn't. 19. Oh, look at this. Brilliant. 19 is the battery. Right, that's what we're after. That's 19. Excellent. Well, there's a little rip there, so I'm going to be careful of that. Don't want to lose any of the sticky pads or anything inside there. So, what have we got now? 20. 20 is... Looks like... Oh yeah, it's the top of the quadcopter. That's door number 20. Door number 21, where are you? Here you are. Oh, look at this. This is the obligatory accessory pa pack. So, oh, inside here we've got spare propellers. Looks like a USB charger. So, yeah, we've got spare propellers and USB charger. And some screws. Perfect, you do get spare screws. Awesome, I think a couple of episodes ago I said you didn't. Turns out you do. Right, that's 21. We're almost at the end here, folks. 22. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Batteries are included. And then 23. You get the, oh, the analog stick covers with two screws as well. And then we're on to the last door. 24. Look at that. That is absolutely massive. <laughs> right, we'll have a look at this in a bit more detail as time goes on. Right then, so let's just recap as to where we were last time. So, here we are. So last time we attached all the cables, or most of the cables rather, the LED cables, to the printed circuit board. We've also attached the propellers and screwed them in onto the little gears, which in turn the gears are attached onto the motors, which the motor casings are on the back here. You can see the silver, uh, the silver cylinders. Right then, so let's crack on. So where were we? So last time we were on day number 12, so now we got day number 13. Right, so 13 was most definitely 
the bottom casing. So right, so the bottom casing comes with some screws. Let's not forget our screwdriver that we had and just in case we need it there's the spare glue. So here we go. So now what we've got to do is affix the printed circuit board to the casing correctly. So I'm just trying to get these screws out of this bag and then more importantly, oh there we are. Right so different screws, different sizes, so I'm going to put them all there. So now we're going to try and see if we can figure out which way is forward. So I'm guessing that is forward there because there's a little LED hole there which I'm hoping the little LED is going to fit into and it does. There's the LED. Perfect. If you can't see it, it's just there. Absolutely great. Just sticking out there. Perfect. So now we know which way forward is. So now we've just got to affix all these cables on. So probably an easier way to do it would be with the printed circuit board out and then we've just got to match up the way that the quadcopter sits. So once again this little red bar here denotes the, for the front of the quadcopter. So we'll have that, it's got to sit to your right. So now once we've done that and we know which way the front is, so therefore the little LED there denotes the front on the, pr on the printed circuit board, we can then start to attach these cables. So once again the cables have a little nodule on them which lines up and then slots in accordingly and then a little, little push that just makes them fit in perfect. Now we're on to the third of the four cables. Oh. Gets a little bit tricky as your movement then becomes a little bit restricted just down to the fact that you've got loads of cables connected everywhere. So where are we now? There? No, are we around the back? Yeah, there we are. So I've got that around there. Perfect. There we have it. So that is what we've currently got. Printed circuit board with everything attached. Just try and lay these cables down the way they're meant to go. So one LED is meant to go on one arm and there are little lines in the plastic here which you can see the LED through. So now what we're going to do is with everything attached we're going to just screw the printed circuit board into the bottom casing. Just make sure we line it all up first. So I'm going to go back to the original screwdriver and then I'm going to just try and see if I can screw this in the best way that I possibly can. Just until it bites. There we go. Perfect. So now it's the screw is caught. Now we can just screw it in quite nicely, being sure at all times you do not want to get any of these cables stuck and you don't want to get any of these screws going through any of these cables because that would just cause no end of problems once again. So I've done one there on the front, one on the back and I'm going to repeat the action and I'm going to do one on the front and I'm going to do one on the back. And there we have it. So that's the third screw that's in. And now what we'll do is we'll add the fourth screw into here as well and that will give it the security it needs. So it's really quite difficult to get these screws to bite but then once they have it's quite easy then just to screw them in until they are thumb tight. Once again, not too tight. Right, so that's that one. So there we go. One, two, three, four. Four screws perfectly added. Right. So now I'm just going to tidy up a little bit these LEDs and make sure that these screw mounts aren't obstructed because you're going to want to add some screws, I'm guessing, in a minute. So that's in, that's in, 
So everything there should sit. So you should have the red LEDs by the red propellers and the white LEDs by the blue. Oh, so this is what we're left with. We're left with the bottom securely attached onto the quadcopter. The LED just poking out the front. So now, while it's upside down, you'll notice there are some screw holes here as well. So I'm just going to be on the safe side and I'm just going to add some screws in here as well. Okay, so now we're just going to use these long screws and just add them to these little screw holes here just to ensure that everything is all screwed in nice and tight. Now these motors are going to have are going to be quite close to where the screw holes are so you're going to want to take care not to slip and damage a motor if there's any sort of tension between you screwing these um, these screws in and them actually going in as in if you're doing it and there's nothing happening then you're going to want to open it back up again and just make sure that there's no cable that is blocking the way okay so there's that one sorry that my hand is obscuring the view for the second but I'm going to try and see if I can guide this screw into here and once, once I have I can turn it so you can see so there we have it. Oh, we're making up some great time here, folks. Here we go. In we go. In we go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. There we have it. Beautiful. So, there we go. <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm really excited. Looking really good. All right. So, now that we've done that, at this stage, you can add the propeller guards, should you wish. I'm not going to, um, just because I want to see how it flies without the extra weight. Let's just group those up. The next part now is just to add the landing sprigs. And then we should be able to plug in the battery and put the case on. So let's find the landing sprigs, and there they are. Now, once again, don't forget there are going to be loose screws in this packet. There we are, two screws here to go for the two sprig. Oh, sorry, my apologies, four screws. There we are, so four screws there to go with the two sprigs. I'm guessing, yeah, there we are, so it's two screws each side. Now, same as when you'd be adding any other screw, sprue, sorry, sprig to any other quadcopter. You want the nice side out and you want the printed side on the inside. All right, so should just be a case of clip one and clip two. Wow, that is a real tight place to be trying to put a screw in there. Yeah, that's not going to fit, is it? Surely. I don't know if you can see this, but what I've just noticed is on the inside of the sprig here, that screw hole is tiny. It's even smaller than the actual screw. So I don't know how... Let me just try and see if I can... Because the plastic is quite thin. No, that doesn't go in. Alright, so for the second, let's just add the other sprig. I mean, they're not going to fall out anytime soon. They are in. It, it does take quite a bit to to push them in and to push them in flush as well. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Right, so there we go. Look at that. That's really neat. It's looking <laughs> almost a complete quadcopter. That's fantastic. Right, so now we've got the battery. But what we can do now is we can put the sticky pad on oh no I'm not going to do it actually because I'm going to want to take this battery out so this battery is 3.7 volts 250 milliamp hour really small battery and this little green cable here 
slots in to that green plug all the way in there. It'd be worth saying that before you put this in, you may want to just check that the quadcopter is in the off position. Not that you're going to, you know, I don't even know if this battery is charged, but the off, on and off switch is down here. So there we go, she is all sat in there, all quite nice. Now the last thing to do is just to put this little cap on her. Look at that, really nice. And then it should just be a case of, it operates a lot like a boot of a car, or a trunk, depends on the part of the world you come from. There we are, once, you, once you've clipped that in to place there, you'll notice this side is a little indent in there. Just enough for you to get your nail and squeeze and then that opens and that's how you recharge the battery. Perfect. So, moment of truth. Let's see if, well, if there's any charge in the battery first, let's see if everything's plugged in and if everything's working. Ha 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 ha! Yes! Look at that! Absolutely perfect! Two blues, two reds, one LED in the front as well. Oh, chuffed. Really good. Look at that. Fantastic. So that is working. Now, we've still got to do a little couple of bits on this. Look at the size of that. I mean, compared to the quadcopter, it's, it's huge. So, behind door 23 were these two little bits. These two little bits just go on the analog stick. Just, they come with two screws as well, these two here, so just be careful. And then it should just be a case of push them in. Yeah, a lot like that. And now, taking the screwdriver, put the screw down the middle of the analog stick. The left one's going to be a little bit more tricky to do because it doesn't analog stick doesn't spring back into position so what I'm going to do is just lock it with my thumb there and then just screw this in wow okay there we go that's in and now we come to do the right one this will be a, hopefully a little bit easier but what I'll do is just use the same technique is I'll push it up and lock it with my thumb just as I'm screwing this ah, all the way in Look at that. Right. So, nothing is labelled as to what anything does. So I'm guessing that you've got your standard trim buttons left and right. You've got your standard um, takeoff accelerator. You've got your, your standard move around as well. There's your on and off button in the middle. But I think, my friends, to find out what all of these do, I think we're going to have to take it out of the field and give her a try. So, there we have it. We have all together successfully built our first quadcopter. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Right, so that's it. That's the end of video three. Uh, all the, quad, the quadcopter is completely built. And now the next part is going to be to take her out and test her. So please join me for that, friends. Um, let us know in the comments how you've got on as well. Have you put yours together? When you flip the switch on, Does do all the lights come on? Is everything working? Have you taken yours for a test flight? Let us know what you think. Because this, as I say, I haven't taken out. I don't know how she's going to handle. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and join me in the next couple of days when we're going to take this out. So until then, my friends, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic. And happy flying.